Hi friends, this is Firearm Pop, and I'm here today with, uh, with another edition in my Armed Citizen Stories. And this is taken right out of uh, First Freedom Magazine. And uh, we're going to move right to this, uh, this week's, this month's paper is in uh, page 27. And it says, for the Armed Citizen. So without further ado, we're going to get right to... Uh, some of these great stories. I haven't read pre-read these, so uh, and I do that because I want to give you my initial reactions to these stories. And uh, so let's get on with them. Hazel Poole, 85, was at home playing with her puppy around 8:30 p.m. when there was a knock at the front door. Little did she know that she, that she would open the door to two masked men wielding knives. Poole wasted no time to dash to her bedroom where she kept her 38 caliber handgun. Poole, who was married to an avid trap shooter and whose son works at NRA headquarters, is no stranger to firearms. With confidence, she pointed the gun at the men and ordered them to leave her home or she would shoot. Both men fled without hesitation. Amen, sister. This is the Star Press in Muncie, Indiana. Amen, Hazel Poole, 85 years old. God bless you. Jeremy Reed, 30, and Anna Soto, 24, were asleep in the same room as their one-week-old baby girl, and they woke to a loud banging sound. They later learned that the sound was their front door being broken into by two convicted felons. Reed recalled seeing one of the men standing at the foot of her bed. Soto grabbed the infant and hid in the bedroom closet as Reed confronted the intruder with his 22 caliber rifle. The men took off in Reed's car, but by then, flashing the blue lights, they could be seen in the distance. Both men were arrested just 20 minutes later and charged with multiple felony counts, including home invasion robbery. And that was in uh, Tampa, uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. Sorry, guys, I'm finding a, a, a sinus infection, so I find it hard to breathe. But uh, we're going to plot along here. Please bear with me. A man in his early 40s entered a nail salon at about 5.30 p.m. and began asking a female employee about purchasing diamonds. When the confused woman told the man she had no money to buy diamonds, he reached into his coat pocket and pulled out a pistol. When a customer... Uh, be Getting her nails done, so what was happening, she reached into her purse and pulled out her own firearm. Upon seeing the woman's gun, the man quickly fed, fled the salon. It was last reported that the suspect is still at large, and that was in Casper, Wyoming. It's amazing. Most of these guys are cowards. Uh, at one side of another gun, you, you saw it here with the twenty-two, and now with this one with the... Uh, a 38, uh, they, they really not looking for a confrontation, and that's all it takes. Uh, anyway, two men targeted at home of Jerry, uh, wow, I don't want me to pronounce this name, S-T-R-E-M-O-V-I-H-T-G, Stromovig, 62, and Kenneth Conley, 53, one evening. Conley was having a meal in the front porch when two suspects approached him. They beat him and repeatedly used a taser to subdue him. After gaining entry into the home, the suspects entered Storiki's room, bedroom. Uh, let's call him Jerry, okay? Uh, after gaining entry to the home, the suspect entered Jerry's bedroom. Jerry met the intruders with a 38 caliber revolver. He fired several rounds, causing them to flee the home. One suspect, a 35-year-old man, died in the front yard from the gunshot wound. It was last reported that the second suspect is still at large. Conley and Jerry uh, were taken to nearby medical center and were treated for non-life-threatening injuries. And that was in Holly Hill, Florida. Dispatchers received a call one afternoon from a man claiming to be the victim of a road rage incident. The man called 911 from the highway and said the van he had just passed was ramming his SUV from behind. The dispatcher instructed the driver to pull over and wait for officers. When the man pulled over, the van pulled over as well. The man and the woman occupying the van approached his vehicle and began hitting him and stabbing him 
with car keys. The driver of the SUV, a concealed carry permit holder, retrieved his gun and pointed it at his assailants until police arrived. They were later booked on possible charges of battery and disorderly conduct. And that was in Wasasu, Wisconsin. Jerry Cherry was driving at approximately 8.30 a.m. when he noticed two vehicles on the side of the road. Cherry pulled over to help them to help when he saw that there was a man holding a woman to the ground face down and stabbing her repeatedly. Cherry, a concealed carry license holder, quickly retrieved his, retrieved his firearm and ordered the man to get on the ground as he dialed 911. Crystal Ward was traveling the same route when she spotted Cherry holding the perpetrator at gunpoint and <clears throat> at the side of the entrance ramp. Ward stopped to assist and discovered a crying baby boy in one of the vehicles. The suspect was later taken into custody and the victim was flown to a nearby hospital with multiple stab wounds. It was last reported that she was in stable condition. The baby was unharmed. And that was in Plum Grove, Texas. When a 79-year-old man heard arguing outside his home, he went outside to investigate. In the front yard, the man discovered his 17-year-old granddaughter being beaten by a 19-year-old male. When the grandfather confronted the suspect, he was threatened with a stun gun. The suspect approached the elderly man. The grandfather warned him to stop, but the suspect continued uh, toward him. The grandfather pulled out a handgun and fired once. The suspect's wound proved fatal. And that was in Ella Evansville, Indiana. More great stories. Really uh, happy to be able to read those to you. If you don't get the uh, uh, First Freedom Magazine, once again, uh, it's a publication of the NRA. It is uh, more important today to be a member of the NRA more so than ever before. Uh, they are fighting for our rights. Uh, the Second Amendment is under attack. More uh, anti-gun laws are, 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 are being brought up in front of the legislators every day, not only here in my commie state of New York, but uh, even in uh, across the nation. Uh, so support the NRA. Uh, if you have a weapon, carry it. Have it available. Because you never know when the door they're breaking down could be yours. This is Fire on Pop. I want you to be safe out there and God bless. Bye now.